Hi there, I'm Jake, and tomatoes are berries. Welcome to Project Science. Throughout our lives, we're reminded to eat our fruits and vegetables. They're good for you! But which is which? They're all plant chunks of some kind, so they have that in common. Culinary expectations, for example, might suggest that fruits are more on the sweet side, while vegetables tend to lean a little more towards savory. Seems reasonable. Let's check. Strawberry. Sweet. Fruit? Yes. Carrot. Savory. Vegetable? Also yes. Tomato. Savory. Vegetable? Nope. Beet. Sweet. Fruit? Nope. Cucumber? Corn? Squash? Avocado? Walnut? Then what is the formal difference? Is everything a freaking fruit? Surely science has an answer. If you've ever been unsure what makes a fruit a fruit and a vegetable a vegetable, you're not alone. For my part, I went the longest time just knowing the difference has something to do with... I want to say seeds? And the real answer is yeah, it does have something to do with seeds. A fruit is botanically defined as the mature ovary or ovaries of a flowering plant after it's been pollinated. To explain this, we'll refer to the giant plastic flower model of science. Generically, flowers consist of four types of modified leaves. Sepals, petals, stamens, and pistils. The latter two are what we care about here. They're the male and female reproductive parts. Inside of the pistil is one or more ovaries containing ovules, basically unfertilized seeds. The stamens, meanwhile, include the anthers, which produce pollen, plant sperm. A lot goes on during pollination, but for our purposes today, we'll cut it down. Pollen from the stamen fertilizes the ovules, the fertilized ovules develop into seeds, and the ovaries develop into fruits. So there it is. Fruit equals some form of mature plant ovary with seeds, and vegetable equals the other parts of the plant, stems, leaves, roots, and anything that doesn't include mature seeds. Now let's revisit my claim from the cold open that tomatoes are berries. I've already hinted that a lot of the produce we're used to is actually fruit. There's still a bit to unpack there, so let's instead start briefly with vegetables. There are leafy greens like lettuce, cabbage, and its close associate, kale. You also eat undeveloped leaves like Brussels sprouts, and modified leaves like onions. Then you've got roots like turnips, carrots, and radishes and sweet potatoes. Regular potatoes are actually stems. Other stem vegetables include celery, rhubarb, and asparagus. And reproductive parts that aren't fertilized, i.e. whole flowers, are also considered vegetables. Examples include broccoli, cauliflower, and artichokes. As for fruits, there's more to cover. Buckle up. Berries develop from a single pistil and are soft and fleshy. Fruits that are berries include blueberries, cranberries, and grapes. And as we've seen, tomatoes also fit this definition. And so do bananas. But wait, there's more! A berry with a thick, hard skin is called a pepo. Pepos include fruits like cucumbers, melons of all types, squashes, and pumpkins. All of them types of berries. In plants where the developing ovary becomes so hard that it produces a shell with a dry seed inside, what you have is a nut. If instead the dry seeds are inside of a pod, this is not a nut, but a legume. Don't get me started on stone fruits. They're called droops, and they have a soft outer flesh with a hard pit in the middle containing the seed. These include cherries, plums, peaches, and coconuts. The part of the coconut we eat is actually the pit of the droop. And then there are aggregate fruits, which form from a bunch of ovaries and a single flower. Raspberries and blackberries are aggregate fruits made up of drooplets. The tiny sections are basically like the baby droops. Those seeds getting stuck in your teeth are so annoying because in essence, they're small pits. Strawberries are a type of aggregate dry fruit called an akeen. The red part you eat is actually a modified flower receptacle, and those little hard things on the outside are the fruits. And pineapples are multiple fruits, formed when a compound flower develops into a big ol' mass of fruitness. I could go on and on, but I won't. It would be easy to get bogged down in terminology here, but don't worry. The gist, the fruit-vegetable dichotomy, is pretty straightforward. And the takeaway message is the same, which I guess is that plants are cool? I don't know. I'm hungry. I'm gonna go eat some plant ovaries. Thanks for watching.